All right, I got something to say. Scotty Pippen is tripping. All right, Rob G, tell us the deal. Well, he has a new book coming out, I believe, in the fall. And so, Sounds like it's going to be a good book. I, I will say that. They did start the uh, marketing campaign earlier today, and his publisher put a doozy of a description on their website that got picked up everywhere. Let me just read you a, a little piece of it so you can get an idea of what you're going to get in uh, No Tippin' Pippin's upcoming memoir. <laughs> Simply put, Without Pippin, there are no championship banners, let alone six. Hanging from the United Center rafters. There's no Last Dance documentary. There's no Michael Jordan, as we know him. The 1990s Chicago Bulls would not exist as we know them. Pippin details how he cringed at being labeled as Jordan's sidekick and discusses how he could have and should have received more respect from the Bulls' management and the media. He discusses what it was like dealing with Jordan on a day-to-day -day basis while serving as the real leader within the Bulls' locker room. My, oh, my. I got Chris, two words, Rob wait, Parker. I, I'm going to okay. step back because I'm going to let okay. you have this because <laughs> you already know, I mean, like, I think you said it best. Scottie Pippen is tripping because I don't know where. I know you want to sell a book. I know you want to get people riled up to want to buy it, Chris, and read it. I know you took a bad contract many years ago, and maybe you're trying to make up for that. But my God, what book is this? Is this fair a fairy tale? It might be fiction. It might be fiction. I got two words for Scotty Pippen. Stop it! Scotty, let me tell look, Scotty Pippen is rightly viewed as an all-time great. Okay? I mean, he is half of the duo, arguably the greatest duo of all time. You know, some people might want a center and a, and a guard and all that. These are two wing players, him and Jordan. But I'm going to give Pippen his due. He was a great player. But that description, I, and I don't think Scotty feels this way, Rob. That description, though, makes it seem like he thinks he was just as valuable to that team as Michael Jordan. And I'm going to tell you, that that's just not the case. Number one, Scottie Pippen, I'm going to say it, Rob. Scottie Pippen is lucky that he went to play with Michael Jordan because Scottie Pippen is a kid that played junior college basketball, if I'm not mistaken. He played for the University of Central Arkansas. All right? I don't know if he played JUCO or not, but he, played, he came out of Central Arkansas. His first year in the NBA, Rob, he averaged eight points a game. Eight points a game. Second year, 14 points. Third year, 16 points. Fourth year, 17 points. And my, my point is this, and you remember watching Pippen, Rob. I, I was covering I, the NBA then. I, right. You know what I mean? On a daily basis. And I used to watch his development from year to year. And I remember saying to myself, he's been watching Michael Jordan in practice. Because you could see, he was a different type of player, obviously not near the score or even the scorer's mentality that Jordan had. But you could see him gain confidence. He became a better defensive player. His attitude, his aggressiveness, like he became kind of like a, a mini Michael Jordan in some cases. It was like he was the little brother learning from Mike. My point is this. If he doesn't go to the Bulls and he goes to Portland or somewhere else, I don't, Rob, I don't think he becomes the all-time great player that he was because I really think he learned from Jordan. We know how Jordan tested his teammates. And Scotty passed the test. But make no mistake, Scotty, without Michael, it's, Rob, we got the evidence. Now, I'll give Scotty this. The one year when Jordan first retired in 1993-94, that season, Scottie Pippen balled. And he did wonders for his legacy that year. The Bulls won 55 games, got to the second round of the playoffs, got knocked out by the Knicks in a, a really tough and even controversial series. And Scottie Pippen was MVP of the All-Star game that year. But here's his numbers. 22 points, a career high. 
8.7 rebounds, a career high, and 5.6 assists. 22, 9, and 5 is what he averaged. Now, that's really good. But don't dare act like that's anything close to Michael Jordan. I mean, without my, his best scoring average ever was 22. And then when he went to Portland, he was supposed to be the winner. Teach Rasheed Wallace. And you know, they had a squad, right? Yep. Right? He spoke, this, Scotty is here. You got six rings. You're going to teach us how to get over the hump. They go into, what is it, game seven against the Lakers. They're up by 15. Heading into the fourth quarter. And this is before the three-point shot was all the rage, right? So it's not like a 15-point lead back then was huge. And he couldn't, he didn't, we couldn't teach them. He couldn't show them. He couldn't take command for them to keep that lead. And he go, he went to Houston before that, Rob, to play with Barkley and Elijah Wan. He averaged 14 points a game, and they didn't win anything. Portland, they didn't win anything. He averaged 12 points, 11 points a game. So I'm just saying, I don't want to disrespect Scottie Pippen in his career, but it was not a one in one A. It wasn't even a one in two. Michael Jordan was the king, and Scottie Pippen was like a little prince. And we'll and, give and him props for that, but don't get it twisted, Scottie. Right. I, I just don't understand, like, like I, I get it when – when you have to be, Chris, uh, with somebody who is as big as Michael Jordan and everybody else is reduced, I, I get all that. You know what I mean? Like, like yep. okay. But to come out and act as if, you know, he could have done this on his own or he could have been Michael Jordan. And here's I mean, the doesn't thing. it come off that way a little yeah. bit? I mean, that's, I, that's I don't what know I, that's, that's the I way feel. it that's, sounds like to yeah. me, right. It's like I could have been Michael if they gave, gave me that opportunity. Right. But, Chris, did they stop him? From winning a Finals MVP, I'm just saying. Or that, what did Mike, did Michael Jordan, or the Bulls, or the NBA stop him from outplaying Michael Jordan on the court, or shooting 55 percent from the field, Good or point. or or doing anything that would have flipped it? How? Who stopped you? That's what I'm asking right. you. When you had the basketball and you were doing what you were doing, who stopped you from winning a Finals MVP? I've always said. And I, I, Chris, and I know the finals MVP to me, when it, anybody can win one, you've talked about it before, right? You've talked about Iguodala, it. Because Iguodala, Iguodala, yeah. Right. Yep. Guys have won the finals MVP when they've had great players on their squad. Worthy so how won come it Scott, with Magic and Kareem on his team. Okay. So how come Scottie Pippen couldn't win one with Michael Jordan on the team? That's right. my point. Is that if you were that guy, there could have been one series where you were that right. good. If and it was Michael that close. Michael wasn't that good. Yes, right. if it was if, that close. Yep. It was never close. This is this is a, a made up and a false narrative to kind of counter what happened and how Scotty looked in the documentary. And don't say that th- that the documentary hurt Michael. No, it didn't. <laughs> all the right. millennials and all the Gen X people, Chris. They did a poll after that after that documentary. And you know what it said? Everybody picked uh, Michael over LeBron in almost every category. Remember that? Right. Even, Even some that one, Michael was. Right. right. Like passing or whatever it was. Yeah. Even in those, that's how much it had an impact on Michael Jordan. People finally got to see Absolutely. what he went through, the treatment by the Pistons and the Knicks and the hard fouls, Chris, and how he used to go to the basket and had to transform himself into a jump shooter and, and all the other stuff that Mike did. Are you kidding me? This is this is blasphemy is what this is. <laughs> no, I, well said, Rob. Well said. I mean, look, Scottie Pippen, it, to me, Rob, and I'm, I'm honest about this. I think Scottie Pippen is remembered properly. He was the second guy. People give him love. People admit it's undeniable. They didn't win a championship without Scotty. So we give you props. You were a great player. You're a Hall of Famer. You were named top 50. All of that. We give you your love. But don't act like you said it, Rob. It wasn't close, Scotty. It wasn't close. And Rob, I mean, we didn't even talk about, you know, how Phil Jackson calls a play for Tony Kukoc. 
Hello? At the end of a game, and is Scotty won't on? go out on the court. Is this on? Thank you very much. Hello? That I was mean, a big moment. What? And then, Rob, do you remember the next year? Now, everybody remembers the first year without Mike. 55 wins. Oh, they almost beat the Knicks in the second round. They were rolling without Mike. Well, what about the next year when Mike was still playing baseball and they were struggling? And you remember, Rob, the video of Scotty sitting on the bench. He's wearing some Jordans. Yep. So he lifts up his sneaker, and on the bottom is the Jordan symbol, and he's pointing to it. Come back. Come back. They needed him. They weren't a contender anymore at that point. I bet you that ain't in the book. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. I mean, come on, Scotty, again, you're great. You were great. I, am I wrong? Right? Do you don't you think he's aptly remembered? People don't think he's like Steve Kerr. No, or, he wasn't. Or, or, he wasn't know, a hanger Ron on. Harper's, right. He wasn't a hanger on. He was the number two guy that they needed. Michael needed yep. a number two. Now here's the other one. Don't get it twisted. There could have been another number two oh, played dude. of that caliber with Michael Jordan, and they could have still won six. And I'm not trying Absolutely. to take anything away from him, but that's how good Michael was. But he needed a number two. But don't I act like. Don't act like he's the only number two that would have worked with Michael Jordan. I'm sorry. I'm right. not buying that. That's a great point. Yeah, I agree. I mean, there's any any number of above average players could have went there and filled that role and they would have won championships. It's just it's just as simple as that. And so I I Scott, I don't know. I I tell you what though, the marketing is working because I, I want to read this book. I I'll, I'll admit that. But um, it, this is going to be interesting. But I think Scotty needs to uh, stand down. Stand down, Scotty. All right, what do you think, though? I'm really interested to hear what the listeners think about this whole Scotty Pippen situation. No doubt. Uh, let's kick it off with uh, Israel in Virginia Beach. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Matter of fact, I'm coming to Virginia <laughs> Beach this summer. My nephew lives down there, him and his family. Oh, well, that's good. Good. It's a good military town. I have some good rib joints around here, too. Yes. I'll be checking and, it out. Anyway, I look, first-time caller. Love you guys. And since it's a worship Wednesday, I'm going to try and maintain my composure. Okay. But the, <laughs> the, 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 the blasphemy that Scotty Pippen said, it's like Tito and Jermaine coming out saying the Jackson 5 was just as good without Michael. <laughs> Yes. That's a great yeah. point. That's that a great, great That's analogy. spot on. Hey, I might spot use on. that on TV, man, tomorrow if we Still talk. Like I'm going to give you, it. Yeah. I'm going to give you props. put out a solo album called Don't Take It Personal, and it had a few hits on it. But Michael, Michael sold out Budapest. That's all I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> that's right. Jermaine did have a couple hits. Let's get serious. Remember right. that? It was Let's all good. Serious. But they okay, weren't nice. But the Jacksons were about right. Michael. Who was out front, Chris, with all those older kids on, yep. In the group. They were yep. all like teenagers, and Mike was out front. Yep, yep. It was all about Mike. That's a great right. analogy. That yes. was very good, Israel. Uh, Ty, in Phoenix, you're on the Odd uh, Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Ty? Listen, hey, what's going on? Israel don't know what he's talking about. Any insider in the NBA will tell you there is no six championships without Pippen. Pippen gets downplayed every single time. But ask any NBA guy who played – Yes, Jordan was great. Yes, he was the greatest. But Pippen is also one of the top 50 players. Stop. You know hey, hey, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, Ty. And keep Ty on. Don't All right, keep Ty on because we could talk about it. Ain't Let's nobody go. stop. Hold on. Nobody stopped Scottie Pippen from winning any MVPs or, or winning finals MVPs or, or why he wouldn't go in the game because the play wasn't drawn up for him. And why did Phil Jackson not draw up the play if he was better than Michael Jordan? Come on with this, Ty. Well, We're not buying it. I didn't say now, that. What are you trying to mouth, say, Rob. Ty? Because we, look, Rob. we'll, give, we'll Rob. give you this. We'll give you this, Ty. We, Chris, Pippen, Pippen. Let me keep my point. Well, hold on. You, yeah, hold explain on. it. Because it, don't act. Are you saying it was a one in one eight? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is people dismiss it when Scotty comes out and says, hey, there's no six championships without him. That's correct. Now, I'm not saying he's a one A on a one A, but he's damn near just right behind Jordan as far as being a two way player from all these players like Kawhi no, and stuff not. when you want to refer no, to a two way player. He never averaged Scottie more than 22 a points a game. Yep. He Not was true. a very he was a good offensive player. He averaged twenty two points a game. Jordan Stop averaged thirty it. for his career. Pippen averaged sixteen points a game for his career. 
Okay, How's that close that, to Jordan me. as a two-way player? Stop it, Ty. Listen to Pippen. Chris. He's giving you the numbers. Pippen always guarded the best player. Yes, Jordan guarded him sometimes, but Pippen was a part of that championship. And I hate when people dismiss it and not really give the full flow and understanding of the actual championships that Pippen helped Jordan win. We said Pippen deserves love and deserves to get props. But we're just saying don't act like it was like he could have been Michael Jordan. Right. Right. It wasn't all that. And, and they're not look, interchangeable. Stop right. it. It's they could have put a lot of guys in there for Scottie Pippen. Good guys, but they could have put other good guys in there and Jordan would have won championships. I firmly believe that. I, I now, do we, too. And you're right, and you know this, Rob. Players will tell you Scottie was a tremendous defender. Nobody, nobody's knocking him as a right. player, Chris, but don't act like he could have been the lead of the band exactly. and, and Mike could have been number two. No. Michael Jordan led the league in scoring 10 years in a row. Go look at the numbers. It's not just the six championships. Right. I hate to break Absolutely. it to you. Stop with the six the six and oh. Look at the whole resume. Yep. GW in Phoenix. You're on the odd couple, Fox Sports Radio. Phoenix? Phoenix. This Cincinnati, what's going on? I don't know what to say. Oh, on, okay. Yeah, I was I, like, is I that thought, a new GW? I thought maybe you moved or something. Maybe you got a better job. <laughs> no, man. I don't want to get any closer to you, Rob. I don't want that rubbing off on of me. What's going on, Chris? I'm How good, you doing, man? man? All right, hey, so you where know you know what? On keep this, talking. Man. We might my my finger might hit the button, so keep talking. Well, and, and that would be just like for you to do, Ralph Trez, man. But uh, uh, Chris, <laughs> I'm, I'm ta- hello. Go ahead. Yeah, we got you. Yeah, Chris, I'm kind of I'm kind of like the last caller in Israel that started off with the with the Jackson Five analogy. First of all, Tito, Jermaine, and Randy are still here. Uh, let me also oh, please. say this: Come on, stop. The last caller, the last caller, he makes a very good point. Let me ask you, Chris: How many championships did Jordan win without Scottie? How many did Scottie Pippen win I, I didn't after ask, I didn't Michael ask Jordan? That I'm Can asking you. Answer my you. question first. Okay. We understand again. No player oh. wins them all by himself. Right. So, so, so we not to. we're saying Scotty was a really good. We just said right. top fifty right. Hall of Famer, but right. don't act like it. Are you trying to say it was close? No. Right. Not okay. even close. Not, it wasn't not Shaq. Even it wasn't to, even not. Shaq and Kobe. Right. It right. wasn't Shaq Chris, and Kobe. Who else? It wasn't Chris, LeBron and Wade. Chris, it it wasn't none myself? of that. Chris, I'm just telling. Myself? Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, you guys are going super hard for Jordan, man. You sound like LeBron fans. I mean, honest to God, I said nothing like give that. Give us the but, facts. Stop getting them. Give us well, what you, right. you said. Well, well, explain the your fact, point. The, the facts is what Happy had to say was right. Jordan didn't win squat without Scotty. He's absolutely right. And if I'm not mistaken, Chris, when Jordan was suspended for gambling, oh, he went to go play baseball, didn't the Bulls, like what, one Hubert Davis foul away from going to the NBA Finals? No, but they didn't the, go the to the Bulls. It wasn't to the second round. Right. They got to the second round of the Finals. Right. Right. It wasn't to the Finals. Right. Can you okay, slow well, down? Get your yeah. facts right. right. <laughs> well, exactly. So they were, still, they were a good team. But, again, I'm never going to say that. Scotty wasn't the leader and none of that stuff. But when he said his mama cooking's part about Jordan and win squad without him, he's absolutely right. And ain't a damn thing. What did Scotty win without Michael Jordan, uh, GW? And Scotty had Scotty had better chances to win without Jordan than Jordan had without Scotty. Exactly. Jordan, Where are you, Scotty GW? Are you with there? Jordan, and Barkley he had didn't win nothing. Without, he played he with Rasheed and those Trailblazers. Didn't win Stop nothing. It. You know what Scotty won without Jordan? The same what? thing Jordan won without Scotty. Stop, no. Stop it. Stop, Stop it. Stop. You, you, Jordan you're, you're won crazy. the league's respect as the best player in the world. All right? Scotty never did that. GW, you dropped a few notches, bro. And, and he, yeah, I ain't afraid time. to tell you. Now you know he's now you know he's got a screw loose. <laughs> and you can finally let go of GW. Hey, GW, that take was so bad, you need to jump off the GW bridge. <laughs> uh, uh, between New York and New Jersey. How's that? That was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good the one, The GWB. Right. 